I'm going to do a quick, uh, I don't know, just like a quick tip on something that can help you step back from a painting and detach yourself from it enough to see shapes and, and to make good decisions even when you're bogged down in that place where you're kind of blinded to your painting. So when I get to that stage uh, in my work where I, I, and you know it, you, you're able to recognize when you get to that spot where you're not able to really see it clearly and you're kind of in a haze. Uh, the old cell phone can actually help you step back. Mirrors are a beautiful tool as well, but um, like myself in my current studio situation, um, a handheld mirror works, uh, but I don't have like an easy mirror set up straight behind me, so it's just a quick glance and I can do that. So sometimes it's easier and quicker actually to just use my cell phone and take a photo of the picture. And it's it's a continual source of amazement to me how um, like this little picture you can almost you could probably see that on the screen but um, the picture of my painting is immediately smaller it's like me stepping back from it it also exaggerates the values a bit so it darkens the darks and it lightens the lights and it helps me see um, it helps me see, you know, value things that I didn't see before and shape things that I didn't see before. So it takes two seconds, and I honestly, I take a lot of photos um, of my work towards that last 20 or 30 minutes, those finish, finish up and clean up stages at the end of a painting. Um, another thing that I do, and let me show you. I'm not affiliated with this app. I'll just say app. I'll just keep it generic. I have an app on my phone <laughs> that uh, allows me to paint, and I'll show you kind of on my painting what it does. Um, I upload this image to the app on my phone, and then I'm able to just select with my finger an area of color, and it chooses it as my, my color to paint with, and then I can paint with that color all over the place, and then select another color, and paint with that color all over the place. So in a matter of seconds, I could change this bank to be a totally new shape and see how that works, see how that feels with the whole painting. Um, and it's got an undo button on your phone. So it's like click, 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 and you're back to square one, and you try a new shape. Click, click, square one, try a new shape. Click, click, try it again. So I'll try it 20 or 30 or 40 times until I get um, and honestly, usually what I'm looking for, if a painting's not working, I'm looking for the, the easiest way to fix the problem, the easiest way to solve the problem, the minimal amount of strokes to make it right. So once I've found the solution, then it's just a matter of looking at the before and after pick. I save the new pick that, um, that has the, the, the problem solved, right? And I save the original picture. Flip back and forth and see what marks I need to make. And then it's just a matter of like a couple really confident boom, boom marks to completely alter the shape and the design and to fix painting. So there's a couple of quick tips from Josh on how to use the cell phone to make better, more beautiful things.